Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm gonna unbox the Walmart Beauty Box for fall 2019. If you're unfamiliar, Walmart has a quarterly beauty box where you get some sample size items. Technically the box is free, but you do pay $5 shipping. So to me, this box is just basically five bucks. And you get some interesting stuff inside every quarter. Now it is weird, I got this in December and this is the fall box, so it feels a little bit late. I will leave a link down below if you're interested in subscribing to the Walmart Beauty Box, but just know that the shipping is really weird on these boxes. If you're new to my channel, I do lots of different unboxing videos here from beauty, home decor, fashion, bath, food, and everything in between. So if you love subscription boxes, go ahead and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get into the fall Walmart box. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. There's some tissue paper and some stuff coming out. So sometimes you get samples, sometimes you get full, sometimes you get foil packets, and it's random. So not everybody gets the same stuff. I believe there's like a classic and a trend setter, so um, you can pick between which one is more you. Um, but it just says fall faves, and then you get into the products. So the first thing that I am pulling out is from Dove, and this is their Dry Spray Go Fresh 48 Hour Antiperspirant in Cucumber. Did that break? Oh, the top kind of came off of this, but I think that you can just stick that back on. I'm not gonna like spray it right now. There we go, I sprayed it a little bit. So it is just a little cute dry spray deodorant, which is great for travel. Um, and that's probably what I'll use it for. And I like the, I just sprayed it. So it smells really good. I like their cucumber scent by Dove. All right, the next thing that I am pulling out is from Hard Candy, and this is their Sheer MV Mattifying Primer 12 Hour Oil Control Primer. Now I do have oily skin and like to control it. However, I will have to see what consistency this has because if it's too mattifying, then, okay, this is more of a, so if it's too mattifying, sometimes it looks really bad. So I'll have to play around with this to see if it's something I like. I actually prefer hydrating primers, work better for my skin, um, but I am okay with that and I will definitely give that a try. The next thing is a NYX lip uh, lingerie uh, professional makeup. I guessing it's a liquid lipstick? It doesn't really say. Oh uh, yeah, liquid lipstick, and this is in cashmere silk. If it will focus. It's not really wanting to focus because of the plastic. Let me see if I'm able to open this and swatch it. Well, that took a little bit of effort, but I was able to get some of the plastic off, not all of it. It's really being difficult, but I wanted to swatch it for you guys. It just has like a plasticky scent. It doesn't really have a great scent. Um, that is what it looks like. It kind of has like a wide, a long flat doe foot applicator. Now this is a darker shade, um, but I think that I can pull it off. I tend to go for some darker lipsticks and if you have like a darker skin tone, I think that this would be gorgeous as well. So I'm actually excited about that. Felt really good going on. I don't think I've ever tried the NYX lingerie liquid lips. I've tried some of their others and enjoyed them. Um, and that, I'm assuming is full size. And then the next thing is the Chic Intuition Fab Razor, which is also full size. Now I've used this before because I've gotten it in a Walmart beauty box before. Tend to get some repeats in this box. However, I'm okay with this one. This is the razor that you're supposed to be able to shave backwards and forwards on, um, which you can. I personally don't like to do that. I, I didn't like, basically when you pull up like regular, it shaved great, but when you went the other way, it didn't do as close of a shave. So you're like, you'd have like a tiny little piece of hair sticking up. So personally, I didn't love it, but I'll use it and I'll probably just shave like normal with it. Um, so there's that. And then we have two foil packets of Nivea's Coconut and Minoy Oil Lotion. So just two little foil packets. Again, these are great for traveling if you're just going away for a day or you need something to throw in your bag with you. Um, so there, there are those. So that's everything that I got in the Walmart beauty box for fall 2019. I feel like for $5 for me, this box is worth it, be, mainly because of, I would pay $5 for this lip, lipstick itself or $5 for the razor. And then the primer and the um, deodorant are helpful as well. The foil packets I don't really care about. I feel like this was pretty good. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of my box? What did you get? I know sometimes you get really crappy boxes and it's all foil packets and sometimes you get lucky like I did and get some really cool stuff. So let me know what you got down in the comments below. Again, I'll leave a link if you're interested in signing up and I will see you in my next video.